Hello, today I make this special screw for that rotary mower. When the last time cut the grass with that machine one of important screw was loose and lost after. That screw is really important because it holds the main axis on its place and seal the oil into mower. My screw was lost, so friend with the same mower lent me his screw as model to make a new one. There come a ball for holding axis on its place, so measurement is pretty important here. I got here a piece of steel to make a new screw, but first sketch it on paper for easier work. After I got the basic measurements it's time to find out the type of treat. The outer diameter is 26mm and the pitch or step we find out with the metric treated sheets. We can see that 175 step don't fit, so try with 1.5 step. 1.5 pitch will be right, it fits perfect. Also in the machinery book you can see all the measure for that type of screw, so you know how deep you must to cut treat for a perfect fit. So let's start work now. First I put a steel piece into a lathe and cut a few millimeter longer part than I need. Then turning and facing it to get nice surface and right dimensions. And do the same step on other side of part. To get something like this. Then I tapering cone on some wood side of treat. I make this manually and didn't set the third axis of lathe. After tapering the part look like that. Ok, I get now prepared part for cutting the treat, so I must prepare the lathe for that kind of treat too, but first disconnect them from power supply. Now I must change gears for automatic support speed. Manually on my lathe say that for 1.5mm pitch I need to install gear with 40, 60 and 40 teeth. I got luck this time, because all of gear axes stay on same places, so changing is really fast. I got now 1.5mm pitch gear ratio, that means that for every turn the chuck make, the Z axis of lathe move for 1.5mm. Then insert 60 degree cutting tool for making treats. I use this cheap Chinese indexing treat cutter, and worked just great. Now find the touch and set the scale or digital readout if you got it to zero. Then lock the clutch for automatic support and do not unlock it anymore, until the treat is finished. For a turn the carriage back to start of the treat just reverse the direction of the motor turning. Hold the part a bit and make first move without cutting, then move the cutting tool away and reverse the motor. Ok, now I set the X axis to cut 0.1mm of material for first move. Then again move the tool away, reverse the motor and repeat, but you must know that every time is bigger cutting area, so every movement is cut less deep than before. If I cut 0.1mm deep for the first time, the second time I cut 0.18mm deep, not 0.2. The third time cut about 0.25mm and so on. Of course you can cut more if you own a better lathe like I do. Then just repeat that process until you cut deep enough, but how deep you must to cut? That number we got by this formula. We need to get the number of H. This is how deep the tree is. That number we got out of pitch multiplied by number 0866025. So if I got pitch 1.5mm in my case multiplied by the number and got the result 1.2990375 or shortly 1.3mm. That means that I need to repeat that step so many times until I got 60 degree cutting tool 1.3mm deep from touching point. With the real lathe I can do that in 3 to 5 moves, but in my case with that pure lathe I repeat about 20 times. When the treat is cut it enough I take a sandpaper, apply a bit of foil and sand the treat to nice finish, but not too much. First sand on top, then bend the sandpaper to half and slowly sand the tooth of treat, just a bit. And that's what I got so far. But before I go to next step I go to the field and check if the treat fits ok. It fit nicely, more than half of treat. There's a bit of dirt inside so I think it'll be ok. It just need a hex head to tighten it. So let's make the hex head. With my new rotary table this is really simple job. Just install it on mining table and clamp the treat into chuck. I'll make hex head for 24mm K. Diameter and screw is about 29mm. That means that I need to cut 2.5mm each side of hex. 
but first round I cut 2.3mm. I got digital readout on my mill, so measuring is really simple, just find the touch and mill each side 2.3mm. When the first side of hex is cutted, I follow the manual of rotary table and turn the wheel for 15 turns, so table move for exactly 60 degrees. Then mill the second side of hex and so on, until I got nicely hex head. The dimension of hex head is now 24.4 mm, so I mill each side for 0.2 mm more to get nicely finish. I make a bit smaller hex than 24 mm anyway, so the K easily put up and down. For the end just a bit more fine work, rid of sharp edges. That's it. After about 2 hours of work, I got pretty nice screw out of piece of steel. Also after a few hours of work with the mover, the screw do his job just well. Main shaft is on its place and don't leak a single drop of oil. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.